Okay, okay, I think we're live. We'll get started in a minute here. Let's check the audio. Make sure we're running okay. Sounds like we're A-OK, -okay, doing OK. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope you're all doing well. Happy Thursday evening. And uh, this is our sketching after hours session. Just hanging out over here and uh, hanging out with you good folks tonight. Uh, let me get a couple things situated here and uh, we'll get this stream up and running and rocking and rolling. If you're hanging out, drop your name in the chat. Let's get this party started. Awesome. Good evening, everybody. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope you are doing well. It's a fantastic uh, Thursday night. Uh, this is our day of the week to hang out and uh, so uh, grab your, your pens, grab your pencils, uh, grab your stylus, whatever you guys got at home. Uh, tonight is the night for the Sketching After Hours session. Um, looking forward to hanging out with you folks tonight. Uh, hang out. Let's get some pencil mileage in. Let's get those reps in and uh, build up our, our hand-eye coordination, build up our sketchbooks, get the party started um, let's see if we got everything going here i think i got everything set all my notes here we're all ready to go okay well let's get started okay good evening everybody and thank you for joining our sketching after hours live stream uh coming to you from uh central pennsylvania over here on the east coast my name is paul angeli and i'm a live action storyboard artist I created this uh, YouTube channel to be a resource for you visual storytellers, filmmakers, and storyboard artists. Whether if you're trying to, uh, you're interested, you're a creative individual that's interested in becoming a storyboard artist, or if you're a seasoned pro that, hey, I want to level up, I want to enhance my work, I want to level up my artistic game and my storyboards, or if you're just somebody who likes hanging out and just watching a storyboard artist at work, uh, this is the channel for you. Uh, so I would consider subscribing, help support the channel uh, so I can help uh, reach more artists out there on uh, their visual storytelling journey. Um, I come to you three times a week on uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays and uh, bring you some uh, valuable content each and every week. And the way I sort of have it structured is on Tuesdays, we do the uh, storyboarding, mastering the basics uh, uh, coursework on Tuesdays, where it's pretty much your tutorials, your how-tos, um, your uh, sort of the, the, the in-depth teaching. And I think we had a, a really cool session uh, with each other uh, earlier uh, this past week on uh, what were the basics to get started in the storyboarding. Uh, there's so much content and I, I really invite you good friends out there on YouTube to go and check out uh, the videos and live streams we've already created so far. Um, there's a whole uh, pile of uh, content for you to consume uh, and that would be on the playlist for the Mastering the basic series. We've done everything from camera shots, camera moves, um, composition. We've we've taken uh, uh, shooting scripts and gone from shot lists to uh, thumbnails to roughs to animatics. That whole process for you. And we're continuing each week adding more content uh, to that particular uh, playlist. You know, you don't have to watch everything. 
maybe you're you're brand new and you want to watch it all please go right ahead maybe there might be some topics like hey I got to re get a refresher I'm trying to level up my game go watch those particular uh, videos in the playlist itself then on Thursdays we have our sketching after excuse me somebody our sketching after hours series and on the sketching after hours series I think it is so imperative for you to get going and sketch in those sketchbooks I think uh, you know whether you're sketching in uh, you know in a sketchbook or just on paper uh, I think it is so critically important to take the time and uh, sketch away um, you know I, and I don't care what you're doing you know in sketching I think you got to put that uh, pencil mileage in you know here's some old sketches and stuff like that from my sketchbooks you know, and some explorations. I, I think it's so important to take the time to practice the, the craft that you're trying to uh, get into. And I, I don't care if it's just a, a quick thumbnail or if it's a, a just a quick cafe sketch, you're sketching at the zoo, it, it really doesn't matter. Just take the time, you know, do some sketching, try different things. You know, try different styles, you know. I think putting in that pencil mileage in really helps you. And over time, you will develop your own creative uh, style. A lot of people are like, what's my style? I, I think uh, by putting in those, those pencil miles and those pencil reps, you'll eventually um, take all the data and information that you're learning from. And it'll some, it, it percolates like, like a great cup of coffee and it percolates into your own style. And you have to put the time into it. Um, the sketching after hours, sometimes I do some tutorials on how to draw. And it's just more of a let's, let's draw together, let's hang out. And it gives you a, a great excuse to come and hang out and draw and fill up the sketchbook. So fun stuff. And that's on Thursdays. And then on Saturdays, we have our storyboarding, um, you know, uh, jam sessions. And the storyboard jam sessions, um, I, recently I've just been picking out topics and, and storyboarding them just on the fly. No script storyboard or no script, no screenplay, and just uh, getting a topic and uh, having fun with that. And just storyboarding away and sort of just being creative, it helps to flex your creative muscles in uh, that, that, that way. So again, join me three times a week, and that's Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, roughly around the same time right now. We're, thank, uh, knock on wood that we're able to continue doing this uh, at, uh, it's uh, right now it's been going at 11.45 uh, p.m. over here, Eastern uh, Standard Time, uh, over here on the East Coast, and 8.45 p.m. on the West Coast. Um, and so uh, I, hopefully you're getting a lot of, uh, I'm getting a lot of great uh, feedback on these live streams and helping a lot of people. And that's, that's all I want to do is share my journey, share my processes out there with you folks that are super interested in getting into this craft or want to hone your, your, your storytelling craft even better. So I, I am having fun and I, and I sincerely appreciate all the support and all the feedback. You know, this has been amazing now, whether it be on LinkedIn, uh, either by email or on Instagram or here on YouTube. I really appreciate you taking the time uh, to, to, to respond. I've seen some fantastic artwork from the artists that are all watching uh, these live streams. And I invite you to continue to share. Um, and uh, let me share that with you real quick, and then we'll do it one more time before we close out for the night. But if you do want to get in touch with me, uh, whether you have a business inquiry, you need a storyboard artist yourself uh, for your production, or you just want to get in touch with me uh, just to share your artwork, get some feedback, and uh, just hang out a little bit and chit chat, uh, answer any questions for you offline that you weren't able to ask during the live stream, please feel free to contact me at uh, my email address. My business email is at Mr. That's M R dot Paul P A U L dot Anjali. That's dot A N G E L I at gmail dot com. Again, that's M R dot P A U L dot A N G E L I at gmail dot com. And you can check out my website. My website is at www dot com. That's www P A U L A N G E L I dot com. And you can reach me over on Instagram. Get a lot of DMs on Instagram. Get a lot of uh, shared artwork also on Instagram as well. Uh, please feel free. Uh, just look up my name, Paul Anjali, on Instagram. You'll find me right away. And on Instagram, I try to 
try to publish daily. Um, I try to get as, as much of my sketch work and stuff that I'm doing just for fun uh, out there for you. And then, of course, you can reach me here on YouTube. And uh, the final link I have right there is my, uh, my uh, LinkedIn uh, page. If you'd like to business contact, get in touch with me uh, that way. So uh, that's the ways to get a hold of me. Please feel free, and a lot of you already have. So I thank you so much. So let's go take a look and see who is on the live stream today, and welcome all our friends joining the live stream. So uh, at this point in time, uh, and I invite you folks, if you are uh, joining the live stream or if this is your first time, don't be shy. Uh, come on, everybody's welcome, uh, all artists of all levels, whether you're a pro artist or you're just beginning, uh, it doesn't really matter to me. Come on in, join, watch, hang out, uh, say hello. Uh, so. Uh, Drop a drop a comment for the folks that are watching. Don't be shy. Say hey, who you are, and and uh, you know say hello. I appreciate it. it. Keeps us interactive. I try to answer questions throughout the stream too. So if you have any budding uh, questions you'd like to ask, throw them into the stream. So I got Sarah on. Hey Sarah, I know Sarah was super excited to get on board. She was waiting a while uh, to get going. So welcome Sarah. Happy to have you here. Uh, I read that you're doing a lot of uh, sketching all the time, and that's great to hear. That all that can do, Sarah, is just help you grow. So. Uh, that's great that you're taking the time and, and, and doing a lot of sketching and sketchbooking and and uh, you know I, I, I have these uh, black sketchbooks that I use as my primary sketchbook. These are those Cranston eight and a half by eleven sort of hardbound uh, books. I, I really enjoy using those. Um, you know, and, and I think sketching in, in a sketchbook helps too, because in time, like some of these, I think last uh, Tuesday, I opened up some sketchbooks and they were from, uh, 2016 and, and it's like just going back and you're like, wow, I drew that or I, I had that idea. It's great to have a resource. And if you want to learn more about sketchbooking, check out one of my previous videos on, on how to master your sketchbook and how to use it more than just drawing pictures in it. So um, some great uh, tips and, and help with that. So Sarah's here. That's awesome. And I got my good friend Maria. How's it going, Maria? How are things going for you? How's your art coming along? I hope it's all coming out well. So again, um, if you're just joining the live stream, drop your name in the chat. I want to know who we're talking to and hanging out with so I can reach out to you personally and say hello. And uh, thank you for joining the live stream. So Maria, Sarah, thanks so much, uh, ladies, for joining on this live stream. Uh, and uh, I look forward to uh, having some more fun here. And we'll get on uh, to our sketches. I got Long just uh, joined in. Uh, Long goes by Useless Guy. Hey, how you doing, Long? Good to see you. How's everything going with you? I hope you're having a great night and uh, enjoying the the, the the good time here tonight. So we're going to have some fun. And uh, I got, got my, my, my friends joining in here on the live stream. It's great to see. So tonight's going to be sort of a fun night. Uh, I was trying to come up with some ideas of what to do and what to draw. And uh, I love drawing monsters. Uh, I, I really do. Creatures, all sorts of stuff. So... Um, Let's go back over to Small Polly. And uh, do, 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 do. let's trim this off. Capture nice too. Boop. There we go. Okay, cool. So uh, a question I have, and I'm I'm gonna leave this for the, for for the audience out there. Um, I, I've been really enjoying doing these uh, these live streams on the sketching after hours, but I'm going to pose a question to you. Let me type it into the chat real quick, and that is: um, Is there any topics that you'd like to cover, or something you don't see on YouTube, and you're like, "Hey, Polly, we'd really like to go over that this or that topic." When it, and I'm not talking storyboard; I'm just talking art in general. You know, uh, basics. I know I've had a lot of requests for. Um, more gesture drawing and uh, perspective and uh, those type of things. But uh, drop it in the chat if there's something that's itching on your mind that you want to go over uh, that I can help share uh, with you uh, in, uh, in some how-to videos while we're doing these sketching after hours or for a potential sketching after hours uh you know, a uh, topic that we can cover. Let me write that down. Question. Uh, question would be, uh, what types of drawing? Okay, 
leave it at that. So question, what types of drawing topics would you like, to, uh, would you like or be most helpful uh, for you during uh, the sketching after hours live streams? Yeah, drop it in the chat. Would love to see uh, what everybody, what's on everybody's mind and how I could uh, be of great help to you and you friends out there. And again, if you're just joining the live stream, Drop your name in the chat. Uh, let me know you're hanging out. And again, uh, I'm just going to ask for the, 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 the quick, real quick ask for you. Uh, I really enjoy uh, doing these uh, live streams. But I, I would ask, hey, listen, if you're getting some great value out of these live streams or some of the previous live streams, uh, you know, please drop a like on this video. Um, also, leave a comment on the video, too. It helps tell the YouTube algorithm, hey, we want to see more poly. We want to see more drawing videos. We want to see more storyboard videos and how-to sessions. It's, it's giving me a lot of great help. And then always, don't forget to subscribe. By subscribing, it helps let me know that you enjoy what you're learning here on the channel and uh, you know helps to support the channel and help the growth because I love to reach more artists out there and you guys have been doing a fantastic job at uh, subscribing over here. I, I can't believe how many subscribers that uh, this channel has garnered uh, over the, these these past you know four and a half months. It's absolutely phenomenal. I am sincerely thankful uh, to you and the YouTube audience out there um, and for you to spend your special time out of your busy day to come and hang out with me and I, I, all I want to try to do is give back to you and help that these uh, live streams are giving you uh, great help in your visual, visual storytelling uh, journey, whether you're becoming a storyboard artist or, you know, using that visual storytelling in a variety of different mediums, including film, comics, etc., animation, etc. So I hope it's helping you all out. So let's get into tonight's topic. Enough chit chat. Let's draw. Okay, so tonight in the sketching after hours, uh, we were going to be, uh, you know, uh, sort of focusing on, you know, uh, creature drawings and, and having some fun with that. And uh, I'm going to show a little bit of artwork, a little bit of show and tell. It's always fun and everybody likes uh, seeing the show and tell here. But I love drawing monsters. And uh, one of these days I got to go, I know uh, Godzilla minus one is out there right now. And uh I keep joking around with another storyboard artist, Aaron uh, Soward, you know, um, and I uh, got to get on one of these productions one of these days of working with these giant uh, monster movies. I, I love these things. I, when I was a kid, I remember uh, I get home from from elementary school and and there was a like a 3:30 monster movie, uh, and uh, I would they'd always have some sort of Godzilla movie uh, coming out at that time, and then. Uh, Back in California, I guess when I was a kid, uh, there was a, an after hours, I forgot what channel it was on, but it was after hours called Creature Feature. And Creature Feature starred uh, this gentleman by the name of Bob Wilkins. And he would sit in his uh, sort of easy chair. He'd have this big cigar and he'd be introducing uh, the different monster movies and stuff like that. And I remember uh, I got so excited about that. He actually did another show that when Star Wars first came out, uh, he had another like sort of a sci-fi uh, little show he would do back out in the Bay Area in California. And I remember going to go, uh, there was a big signing and you got to meet Bob Wilkins. And that was so cool. And uh, for those of you that go way back to when, you know, uh, but it was fun. I love monster movies, uh, watching super late and, and checking out that stuff. But uh Let's let's go over some of the uh, the artwork I produced for you, you know, and grabbed uh, off my Instagram and stuff like that of uh, some uh, creature drawings and and, and how come I, I like uh, drawing uh, monsters uh, so, so very much. So um, let's let's open this up a little bit and get this to about right there. And I'll sort of slide through these different drawings. I've always liked drawing creatures. I think creature design and drawing creatures. It's just a, 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 it's a ton of fun, and, and you can get crazy. Like I got this sort of, uh, uh, I was just pencil sketching this particular creature out, and uh, some sort of frog, to, you know, uh, this would be maybe a, a frog, uh, or I was thinking of the witches, you know, Greek mythology where the, all the witches, the three witches were shared an eyeball or something like that. Just crazy creatures and stuff like that, you know. Uh, I'm big on drawing dinosaurs as well I, I just love prehistoric creatures and a uh, big fan of all the uh, 
Jurassic Park, uh, you know, uh, films. Uh, when Spielberg came out with the uh, the original Jurassic Park, and you know, you got to see the those living, you know, breathing creatures in the film, you know, all 3D generated. But I also like all the stop motion Ray Harryhausen movies and things like that. And uh, getting to see all those those creatures, I sort of miss the days where, because right now with all the science, they show that the T Rex more of a, you know, uh, not so much vertical, but he's sort of horizontal. But I miss those old ways that the dinosaurs used to look uh, before science came in and said, well, we got to correct the way that the T Rex looks and walks. I just sort of miss those old days where that dinosaur sort of went around like that. It was pretty cool and uh, miss miss some of that stuff but i love drawing dinosaurs they're they're f fun to do and uh have some fun too and then talking about creatures you know i did this uh you know uh, marvel sort of you know fan art you know and uh you know creating some of these uh having some fun drawing some creatures uh also to just drawing more prehistoric type of things and prehistoric uh you know, uh, dinosaurs or different dragon type of things, you know, uh, and then you get sort of into uh, uh, just different ethnic flares into your drawings and stuff of, of just, just really cool looking dragons and, and things like that. And, I, I, you know, I know uh, Chinese New Year just came through. I, I believe it was the year of the dragon, so that, that's sort of appropriate for this one here. And just some, some great, great creature designs. I, I just have fun with it and stuff. But what we're going to be talking about tonight, I'm going to leave it right here. And uh, I got sort of this T-Rex fighting, uh, like King Kong. I got the man here with the woman. <laughs> He's carrying her. And it's like, uh, but we're going to be talking about giant monsters, big monsters, and have some fun with that. So let's check the chat real here. Um, so um, per the question... Um, you know, uh, I got uh, uh, Long was asking, hey, perspective, how to make character uh, pitching the background from different angles and eye levels, making uh, pictures look look more cinematic style. OK, I'll take that into consideration. Um, I'll put that in my list long and uh, we'll, we'll see if we can get into that uh, uh, down the road uh, for some of those uh great ideas I have see come in. I got Adam. Hey, Adam, how's it going? Welcome to the live stream. Uh, you know, I'm glad you're able to join tonight. Um, and I, you know, and uh, Adam just said, I love Harryhausen. Yeah, no, you know, it, when it comes to uh, stop motion animation, uh, Ray Harryhausen, whether it be the, uh, the voyages of Sinbad, you know, or, you know, when he created those those skeleton figures in the Sinbad movie where they were coming from the Hydra's teeth and, you know, the, the evil sorcerer had them come out uh, to, to whatever uh, 2,000 Leagues Under the Sea, you know, uh, just to, you know, or what was it? Uh, I forgot. There's a bunch of films uh, that he did just the, 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 the effects for in stop motion. And he had uh, greats like Phil Tippett, um, you know, for you Star Wars super mega fans you know creating all the uh from the at at walkers to all the creature you know the tauntauns and everything moving uh just uh you know phil tippett was was the guy and uh he uh wowed generations of uh, a bunch of us old dudes today but uh amazing work and uh then you had uh, others come in like henry selick uh, doing his uh, stop motion animation, you know, uh, for Nightmare Before Christmas, working with the great Tim Burton, and uh, they just the list goes on. And then recent, most recently, you have Leica with uh, you know uh, films like uh, Coraline or Paranorman or the other Kubo and the Two Strings. There's so many different films that they have done as well. So all good stuff. So um, yeah, you, you can see that the, the, the modifications and it's it's a de definite art form and craft uh, for those folks uh, and I, I don't want to not forget about uh, claymation and those type of like Ardman Studios uh, doing Wallace and Gromit and uh, you know Sean the Sheep and all the stuff coming out of the Ardman uh, Studios just fantastic stuff stop motion is great um, so yeah Adam Harryhausen uh, Maria was asked have you seen prehistoric planet 
Um, no, I don't think I've seen Prehistoric Planet, but uh, I'll have to watch that. Uh, when my when my eldest son was young, he watched, uh, I, I think it was Nigel Hawthorne, there was a, a discovery show where he would go back in time and go to, you know, he was a, like a live action explorer going into prehistoric times and doing stuff like that. Uh, I had a, a, a small stint, I was working for a company that uh, worked with uh, Animal Planet at the time and uh, got to do some cool stuff over there. Uh, but no, I haven't seen Prehistoric Planet, uh, and uh, Long says he's seen it. Cool. Yeah, I'll have to see that. And then uh, Maria says, uh, watching the MonsterVerse, and the next film on my list is Godzilla vs. Kong. Yeah, some cool stuff, yeah, coming out. You know, I, I just love to get the opportunity to work on one of these cool films. Uh, I know a, a buddy of mine, uh, uh, a buddy of mine, let me look up his book real quick. If you guys like uh, monster movies like that, um, let me get that right. Do, 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 do. Do it this way. Let me get that name for you real quick. And, uh, you know, another great artist when it comes to Godzilla movies and Kong movies is Richard Bennett. Richard Bennett is a uh, storyboard artist, and uh, he just came out with a new book called Godzilla vs. Kong. And uh, he has all of his cinematic storyboards that he created uh, for the films. And, uh, you know, it, and uh, Richard's work is absolutely phenomenal. If you ever get a chance to, to, to check out his book... Uh, definitely check it out and it's Richard Bennett um, you can find him on Instagram as well um, very nice guy and just talented artist you know in terms of uh, his artwork but if you like uh, Godzilla and Kong uh, type of films uh, check out his storyboards very cool stuff and lots to learn from as well very very cool so um, yeah and then I haven't seen has anybody seen the Godzilla minus one yet just curious throw it out there folks Godzilla minus one anybody watch it uh, I saw that last uh, the last uh, big movie I saw was that Godzilla vs Kong besides there I, I really enjoyed the, the Kong Skull Island that was good and I liked all the the uh, Godzilla movies that were the the new ones that came out those were pretty slick I uh, enjoyed those quite a bit so Anyways, throw it up in the chat if you've uh, seen any of those and, and hanging out. So tonight we're going to be uh, hanging out and um, go back into Photoshop here. Boop. Let's see where I do this. Do 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 do. Where'd my thing go? There, go. there it is different so tonight what we're going to be doing not necessarily drawing Godzilla um, you know but uh, this is one of the, the, the quick storyboard frames I threw together a little while ago I was all jazzed about Godzilla and I was like I'm gonna do a Godzilla frame uh, I usually uh, uh, post these on, on uh, there's a Facebook group of uh, you know, uh, pro friends that get together and we just drop a, an image in. So this was one of the images I believe I dropped in. But uh, this one is of Godzilla. All, all the people are screaming in that particular shot. But uh, something I created. But we're going to talk about the kaiju. And kaiju is a Japanese term that is commonly associated with the, uh, within the entertainment and media involving giant monsters. So these are giant monsters, huge things huge monsters not little things uh, we'll leave it open to interpretation uh, to anything tonight but we're just gonna go ahead and and draw and have some fun with this stuff so if you're having a good time or your friends uh, that are catching this on the replay because you weren't able to hit the live stream yeah please drop a drop a comment drop a uh, 
a like on this particular video and then don't forget to subscribe by your subscription it helps me to grow this channel and reach more awesome folks out there that are interested and communicate with them when it comes to visual story uh, storytelling filmmaking and storyboarding so um, let's see here Maria says uh, yes minus one is amazing oh awesome I gotta I gotta check that out Steven uh, Spielberg told uh, Takashi Yamazaki um, that he saw G uh, G minus one three times oh wow that's gotta be good. I gotta I gotta check that out is it, that was an Apple was it an Apple Plus show or something like that or was that or is that I think it was Apple Plus I have to check that out or at least watch some clips from it I, I've seen stills of the film but I haven't seen it yet gosh that's cool awesome great interaction with everybody so yeah continue adding to the chat so let's go ahead and, and, and draw let me take a sip of my drink I'm talking a lot and uh, let's go ahead and get drawing and stuff so we can look at this as a, as a couple different couple different ways of draw drawing these uh, kaiju and uh, having some fun tonight hanging out get some pencil mileage in together there's a few different thing, things you can do. I know we've done uh, through these uh, uh, sketching after hour sessions, we've talked about drawing in silhouette. We've been talking about shapes. We've been talking about symmetry. We've been talking about so many different artistic topics. And I hope they're all helping you out in terms of uh, your sketching. I don't have any reference material because I'm sort of got the OBS in the background working here right now. And... Um, but I'll, but I'll do my fit best to, to remember certain monsters or whatever you know we're drawn here to to get going. But uh, but think of uh, when you're creating monsters. Uh, a lot of things in creating monsters is just based on you know regular anatomy and uh, whether it be animal excuse me animal anatomy or animal textures or looking at objects differently to get those creative inspirations uh, into your artwork and uh, you know playing with it you know and you can do a few different tips and tricks uh, to, to create that I'm gonna sort of try to keep this sort of geared to the storyboard artist or the visual storyteller and so we're not gonna go too much into super detail I'll try to stay away from the, the super detailed illustration and sort of just be like Okay, if I'm going to do this in a storyboard, this is sort of the cheats and cuts that you could use uh, for that particular uh, monster. So um, let me pull up Photoshop here. Let's turn this off. Everybody got kaiju. Kaiju is a Japanese term commonly associated with, with media involving giant monsters. Cool. Okay. So let's get this going on here and um, get my pen tool here. Go under there. I think we should be rocking and rolling. There. And, there, and there's a few ways that that when you're you're drawing your your creature, you can sort of play around with it and just let the shapes go wherever you, you want to go. In terms of uh, thinking of anatomy and structure and those type of things. Um, I, sometimes you know we were talking about it. I don't know if it was last week or, you know, and just as, as, you're, as you're thinking and just creating. You know, how, how do you want to create this, you know? Is this creature and just let it sort of form by just having these lines. Not necessarily this would be the best way as a storyboard artist but just create those lines in terms of what you're doing and having that, that, that flow and just sort of seeing where that comes from And just sort of have that flow there's different ways you can do it you can add some
they're just different ways and when I'm sketching and just playing with my imagination it's just like how, how can I make that work you know in terms of uh, the creature that I'm designing and maybe I just do an understudy of something like that and then uh, what's beautiful about Photoshop I can just lighten that up real quick and then just dive in there and then just start adding layers to it to see do I see the creature come out so this is just for fun sketching right now but I'm also trying to to, to, to make it work too so maybe I'll add another layer in there You know, as I'm just drawing and having fun with this and creating. You just have fun creating the, these creatures and have fun with it. And just, I'm just using a, a continuous sort of, in a sense, a continuous line. Thinking of uh, through the Godzilla series, when when my old eldest son was young, we we usually goof around and treat it like a, was it in the Godzilla series it was a King Caesar <laughs> just having fun here just sketching have fun you know and just explore I'm not using really any reference I'm just sort of playing around with this and seeing where I can go with it Now, uh, somebody was asking me too, it's like, a, what brushes do you use, Paul? And a lot of the time, I, I just use a, uh, just a solid black brush. You know what I mean? I'm not using anything fancy in terms of uh, my, my brushes. Because when I'm doing the YouTube videos, I try to keep it sort of like anybody could do this. I'm just sort of sketching here and just letting this sort of flow a little bit. In terms of the drawings. Just having fun with it. So as you're doing your drawings, just have fun with it. Just let it go. I guess they have a new Planet of the Apes movie coming out too. Just 
Just have fun drawing your creature. This is sort of like humanoid ape creature going on here. I'm just letting it rip. Just have fun with it, you know. Yeah, we're just have to almost turn into like an abominable snowman or something here. So I hope you guys are having fun drawing along. Give them some crazy here. If you're not happy with something, you can move it. The other thing I can do is add another layer in there. It's fun just to sketch and just have fun.
I can have him pop out of this real quick. Thicker. Do it like that, or I can delete that. Just showing you some cheats on how to knock your character out, and then you can just come in there. Pop your character out like that. Or you can just go grab your lasso tool and just start making this guy pop right off the page. Just having fun with it. Hope you guys are having fun. Drop in the chat if you're having a good time. Appreciate everybody hanging out. Yeah, looks so that's pretty 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 grody looking guy. Okay. So then you're sitting there going, Okay, Paul, well, that's a pretty complicated drawing and stuff. Uh, can I simplify this uh, for storyboards? And yeah, definitely you can. Let's just say we, we drop it down here. Something like that. Let's If I'm going to drop it down or something like that for just a general storyboard, maybe get a little bit thicker line. Let's go maybe 12 line. And, and just, just keep it simple, you know. Keep those...
Just keep that creature. And keep it sort of simple like that and just uh and if there's any detail I'd probably do the detail. Keep it simple like that if I was going to storyboard it. Keep that creature like super simple. You know, if I was going to storyboard it out and have the movement of the character or something like that. Um, cool, some, some, some different ideas there. Um, so Sarah says, uh, real quick on the chat, uh, Sarah says, uh, yes, enjoying it and trying to create my own instead of copying this time. Cool, yeah, you stretch yourself. I, I can't, uh, uh, you know, share that enough, you know. Stretch yourself, to, you know. Use this as a jumping off point. Create your own uh, kaiju. Create your own, how, is it a snake? Is it a... Is it some sort of fish monster, giant shrimp? You know, who knows? You know, so you got octopus tentacles. You know, what's what's going on with that? You know, uh, stretch yourself. That's what these uh, sketch sketching after hour sessions are for uh, for you to explore and sketch. Go make mistakes. If it looks horrible, that's fine. Just keep you know uh, iterating on that image, and you'll get better at what you're doing. So I got Paxonite here. Hey, what's up? What's going on? Uh, I'm doing fine. How are you doing, Pax Knight? Everything going well for you? And uh, having a good time. Cool, 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 cool. Got a great group of people here. We got, uh, you know, we got, like I, like I said, we got Sarah here. We got Long. We got uh, Maria. We got Adam hanging out with us. And we got Pax Knight now. Cool. Appreciate it. Appreciate everybody joining in and hanging out. And uh, let's go back. I, I think what I might do is I don't want to noodle that drawing to death. So let's get on to a, a different uh, creature here. Boom. So let me group all these guys together real quick. Group from layers. Call this uh, creature. Creature. Okay, so let's do, 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 do create another creature. Okay, so let's do this one a little bit. We used line art. So how about this creature? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I, I think it's it's interesting to try, try, not necessarily that we're drawing a different creature, but try a different um, uh, way to draw to get those things done. So if I'm Sometimes uh, when I'm boarding uh, and I'm getting stuck on something or trying to work on flow, I'll just use a really thick brush. Let's say I have some sort of I'm just I'm just going to use this shape language. You know, and maybe it's Trying to see where I can go with this. Just 
Just trying to see where I can go. All I'm doing is using uh, some thick lines and I'm just sort of Just seeing where this can go, friends. Just sort of looking at this and where can I make this go? All I'm using this thick line is just We're just creating right now, just using thicker lines. Hope we're having fun with this and just like create the, those images that you'd Maybe he has like a stick. Let's take my legs. creating some crazy looking creature here just having fun sketching you know and, and just have fun with it Let's simplify this a little bit maybe another layer in there maybe it has and then you can come in with your uh, finer lines
just having fun just creating some crazy sort of fish monster here. layer behind this real quick as we're having fun just sketching around and I hope you guys are just having fun I'm not really teaching tonight I'm just sort of having fun just sketching around Yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this creature. It's pretty cool though. It's like some sort of crazy thing.
Hmm. As we're creating this creature. some fun here. Let's do a save on that real quick. Oh. Yeah, we got some creatures going on here tonight. Oh, my God. Cool. So we got this creature. This guy. Cool. We'll take take us a minute. Any questions? We'll open up to any questions uh, while you guys are chatting. I'll leave it open to questions real quick. Take a little second here for myself. How's it going, friends? Maria, how's your artwork coming along? Paxonite, Sarah, Maria, Adam, Long. How's your artwork going? If you're having fun with the uh, live stream, uh, please dr drop a like and a comment into the uh, the YouTube video here. And don't forget to subscribe if you're catching this on the replay. Appreciate you watching. Thanks for taking the time out of your busy day to watch and hang out with me as we're drawing some uh, monsters here. Maria, <laughs> you're too kind. Uh, Maria says it's going good. Uh, your work looks fantastic. <laughs> Thanks so much. You're too kind late night uh working for me so i'm just chilling out late night working for me so i'm just chilling that's cool yeah feel free it's always cool to listen in and sort of hang out and stuff um one of the things uh let's see if i can remember how to do it uh let's see let's go into another drawing here get a fresh one going so we showed a couple different ways of using your line art to using a really thick blocky shapes and things like that um, in, in terms of what you're doing um, you can think in primitives as well circles boxes triangles as, as you're doing your drawing 
Sometimes I just just get jump right into it into a drawing too. Let me see how this pen works. Okay, cool. And remember, I'm, I'm not using any fancy brushes. One of these days, maybe I'll use a fancy brush, but I just use a hard brush and uh, with some pressure sensitivity to it. That's about it. Hard round brush, man. That's it. Sort of. Thinking out loud here. Always good to have teeth. Some sort of crazy creature. Crazy creature I'm drawing right now. Having fun with this creature now. Sometimes I draw like this and just cut out those. pieces in the drawing.
It's a cruise looking monster, holy oh, smoke. Almost looks like some sort of gelatinous monster of some sort. I just think it's fun to draw monsters and I don't know where I'm going with this one. This one's just sort of crazy. I'm just having fun just sketching and having fun with this guy.
It's a crazy looking monster. <laughs> Got a crazy kaiju going on here. I'm trying to get a little faster they can come in there and just Some crazy drone here.
but let's check the chat real quick we're drawing away so adam said late night working uh, for me so i'm just chilling out sarah says it's all right i guess i don't know what it is yet but having fun doing it cool yeah just explore have some fun you know throw some lines down enjoy what you're doing Yeah, John Monsters is fun. I, I just, when I just need some time just to, to hang out and just chill, it's like, I'm not using any reference. If I probably got some reference in here, some animal textures or something like that, I can tighten up this particular creature in terms of uh, what I'm doing with it right now and uh, having some fun with it. Um, cool. Cool. Glad everybody's having a good time and chilling and just sort of get that sketchbook going. It just, you don't have to, uh, you know, fall in love with these uh, creatures you're drawing. Just have fun and uh, just create. And uh, I'm just going from my imagination and just creating cool stuff here. And if you're p being pretty daring, you can sit there and go, okay, cool. Let me just throw some color down on it. We get some color on this guy too.
a cool little crazy looking monster going on here. Having some fun with this one. Hope you guys are having fun with this one. Yeah, I can't wait to see your guys' drawings. Don't forget to share them with me on Instagram. Love to see uh, what you got cooking there. Let's throw some... Uh, Still got more of the creature, but just having fun rendering some of this creature. That's really cool. Should have pictured this one too. Give me a second, I'm gonna turn my light off, take a picture for Instagram right here. to post that later on Instagram yeah I'm really excited to see what you guys are coming up with and see what you're doing here
<laughs> no, I don't like that. That's fun. That was a cool that's a cool exercise right there on that one. Just exploring and trying different things. Let's try something in blue line. Get another creature on my door. Let's see where we're going on this one. Trans, trans. Let's come up with a different type of creature here. Trying to show some weight. This particular one.
I guess this one's a little bit cuter. So we have this line art here, and then uh, go ahead, draw up as opacity, add a new layer in there. Go back to black. Let's see what we can do with him. That's my chat feature here. Get that back up. Cool. Get this. Uh, Cool, cool, cool.
Okay, friends, I'm going to open it up to any questions. It's getting late for me over here. It's almost about 1.40 in the morning. i got to be back to work early tomorrow morning. But uh, any any questions? I'll leave it open to a couple minutes of questions here. Any questions or anything on the chat? Let me know. Drop it in. I'd love to see your work, guys. You know, this is that, you know, I, I think these uh, sketch sessions are pretty fun. And uh, I, I host these so we can all uh, keep working on our sketching and having fun. And, uh, you know, keep those things going. we got a lot of different creatures we've created today in terms of what we've been doing today. You know, we got this guy here. I, I sort of like this guy. I thought he, uh, he turned out uh, pretty cool. This sort of, you know, awk, sort of turtle, sort of crazy looking creature dude. I, I sort of dug him. I'll have to post him over on Instagram. Um, but we tried uh, a bunch of different creatures here. We got this guy. We got this little sort of cuter guy. We created, we got uh, this sort of tentacle sea creature, sea creature thing. And uh, there's that one. But yeah, take your time. Do some, do some drawings. Have some fun. And it doesn't matter if you got a, a pencil or paper or pen or anything like that. Try to sketch as much as you can, you know, and... Uh, have some fun with it you know I think it's always good to get some sketching done and and uh, enjoy yourself uh, you know doing your sketches and, and building that uh, that uh, that knowledge in terms of uh, what you're doing uh, putting in the, those those pencil that pencil mileage in I think is uh, super important it hones your skill it gives you some practice um, you can do some uh, master studies or whatever you need to be doing, but just get, you know, I think the process of every day, spending a little bit of time drawing and sketching and teaching yourself that something new uh, usually uh, helps out quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to thank everybody for joining in on tonight's live stream. So I appreciate uh, Long uh, dropping in by the name of uh, Useless Guy. Uh, John, thanks so much for joining in. I got Maria, always a pleasure to host you on. I got uh, Adam, uh, I got Sarah, uh, who is really excited to jump on tonight. Pax and I, you know, uh, a lot of great people, uh, you know, joining in tonight. I really appreciate everybody taking the time out of your busy day uh, to come and hang out with me tonight and have some fun uh, drawing and, and sketching and, and having some fun. Uh, over here, so yeah, continue working on those sketchbooks. Have some fun. I'll have another uh, live stream on Saturday. I'm trying to prep for that one right now, so we're ready to go for some storyboarding and doing some thumbnails together on Saturday. Um, same about the same time. So uh, let's have some fun and uh, meet again uh, then. Uh, let me turn this off real quick. Turn this back on. And again, folks. Um, my name is Paul Angeli. I'm a live action storyboard artist. I appreciate you joining me tonight. Um, I, like I said, I created this uh, YouTube channel uh, to be a resource for you visual storytellers, filmmakers, and uh, storyboard artists out there uh, in, in the YouTube world. And uh, appreciate you joining in for me. I'm going to leave you with my contact information uh, here at the close. If you want to reach out to me, uh, either uh, if you need a storyboard artist or if you need, uh, you know, uh, to get in touch with me, uh, I'll leave you with my email and uh, pertinent information so you can get a hold of me. Other than that, I appreciate you uh, joining in. If you enjoyed yourself, uh, please consider subscribing. And I got a whole ton of videos. I think this is, uh, let me see here. I think we have a total of right now, do 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 do. 50, I can't believe that, 56 different live streams. Holy smoke, 56, that's crazy. Um, but uh, that's uh, 56 different uh, live streams out there for you to learn from. So enjoy them, and I will see you in the next video. Take care and have a fantastic night.